Yo, yo. Are we getting audio? Okay. Okay. Yo, just making sure we get an audio. <laughs> Alrighty, welcome, people. You know, I just wanted to make a quick video. Basically, just wanting to. Uh, make a video showing appreciation for music, you know? And I ain't talking about, you know, just one genre. You know, um, I'm not talking about just one genre, you know, not hip hop. Not trap, not country, not R&B, gospel, just music in general, you know what I'm saying? I was just sitting here, you know, just playing around, you know. Sitting around just, you know, playing with chords. Basically, you know, when you think about music theory, I'm, you know, I don't really know music theory like that. You know, I'm, I'm not a professional. I know what I know. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been playing piano, keyboard, you know, for going on about almost 15 years now. Had a lot of ups and downs. Blood, sweat, and tears. But I'll get in that, into that in a second. I basically just wanted to do this. Just showing appreciation for music, you know. This ain't no tutorial or anything. Just sitting here playing around with chords, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's crazy. 
how music works, you know what I'm saying? Just scales, you know what I mean? And just how, you know, from here to here, all in between, you know what I'm saying? You can just make magic happen. You can make so much happen, you know what I'm saying? Just how you can make so much magic happen, you know what I mean? That, that's what I mean. Just like, just wanting to stop for a second, and just talk about, you know, just appreciating music. You know what I'm saying? Like what I was doing earlier that made me that prompted me to make this video was just, you know, I was playing around with basically different methods. This might mess around and turn into to a tutorial kinda. <laughs> you might learn something, who knows? But um I just basically was just playing around with what I know or what I learned from over the years, you know what I'm saying? That chord right there, C minor ninth. That's a C minor ninth chord. Then you got C, C major ninth, or C major eleventh. And um, I was just basically playing around with what I know. Like you know, I heard somebody, my boy uh, Q Tao, actually. I heard um, his aunt had told him one time that, you know, she plays the keyboard. She asked, or the piano, she asked, he asked her, what do you, how, how do you play the keyboard? Or like, you know, how, how did you learn to play the keyboard and, or the piano? And she was like, I just did what sounded good. And that's literally what I've been doing for the past, you know what I'm saying? For the past, you know, 13 years, just doing what sounds good to my ear. I know very little theory. I know, you know, you start on the one, or that's the one. That's the five. You know what I'm saying? And then the four, start on the one. Four is F and C, C major. Go back home. Here you go to minor. F is still that four in C minor. The scale is C minor. F minor is B flat. That sounds good, right? It's crazy how that works. You go back. I can go back to C minor if I want to. Right? Go back to F minor. You go back to B flat. 
That's the four of F. The four of B flat is E flat. flat the four of a flat C sharp make sure that's right one two three four so you know what I'm saying four of C sharp is F sharp F sharp is B flat. I'm sorry, B. Of B. You know what I'm saying? I can do whatever I want. Go back to C sharp. I'm sorry, C. I'm saying over the years what I've did I learned that you can damn near create anything you know just from hitting it's like you know there is no wrong or right or well, there is a wrong and a right there, there's a wrong and there's a right but what I've learned is that when you're playing, you have to you have to know what's wrong and and right. Like you, but at the same time, you have to let people know. Like, don't let people realize that you messed up. Like while you're playing, what I was tripping off of like what again what prompted me to make this video was just I was just testing out different things and what I learned you know I'm gonna just go ahead and give y'all my secret sauce you know if you want to learn it if you want to practice it you know I hope you you do I mean like you know I hope you learn something from this video but what I learned a long time ago from a guy named Jamal Hartwell is that if you learn one chord you'll be able to play a whole entire neo soul out you'll be able to make a whole entire neo soul album off of that chord right there that is a minor ninth chord that's c minor ninth that's f minor ninth that's b flat minor ninth that's e flat minor ninth that's a flat minor ninth that's c sharp minor ninth that's f sharp minor ninth and like All I need is a drummer and an ill, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> bass 
player behind me, you know what I'm saying? said and I can make it you can make a whole entire Neo so album off of that I had I over the years I, you know I've been practicing playing that and I feel like you know I've gotten really good at playing that way you know just hitting a whole bunch of a whole bunch of minor ninth chords but um over time it's it probably stunted my growth a little bit in how I play because it's not just instead of just banging out minor ninth chords you know there are scales you know what I mean that's my favorite key right here C minor you know what I'm saying like why not play in the scale I, I haven't been doing that lately in the scale if I could switch it up and I could do this that's still a B flat chord but it's it's the B that's the B flat in C minor that is a B flat minor ninth chord so B flat minor ninth chord. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I mean, like, you when you're playing, you're playing scales within scales. Like, that I'm, I'm just tripping over that right now. I'm just, like I said, this isn't necessarily a tutorial. This is just the appreciation of just how cool music is, just how beautiful and how much of a god given gift music is you know what i'm saying that that's just regular old minor c minor the root note and that right there is the seven the seventh chord and um in c minor But it's crazy how a B, a, a B flat minor ninth still works and it sounds good. And again, the fourth in C minor is F. You know what I'm saying? And I can hit that minor, minor, uh, F minor ninth. Watch this. It's gonna sound good. That's the resolving chord of C minor. You know what I'm saying? Switch to the major. saying it's just crazy how all that works and then and then you know what i'm saying i'm sitting here playing in c minor And then 
that I can, it's gonna work if I start playing in F minor. Make it sound more fluent, you know what I'm saying? I'm just tripping over just how crazy. I just, I, I was just, I spent a moment just tripping off of just how all that's even possible. You know what I mean? And then going from one, two, three, four of the F of F minor. tripping man off of that just how you know let me know how you feel about just music man the creation of music going from chord to chord you know creating different you know what i mean variations of things you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah man um i've been playing for you know what i'm saying i've been making beats uh, longer than i've been playing playing like keyboard and stuff like that and you know i just recently got on to playing on um, uh practicing you know my bass guitar and things like that um but i say the main thing that pushed me to get better. I used to play for a church, you know what I'm saying? A little, a little small church. And, you know, we used to go from church to church playing for other people, you know, like helping them with their praise and worship services and stuff. And I really enjoyed doing that, you know what I mean? And, um, but it was just one particular time that we went to a church and I came <laughs> I came across the wrong kind of pastor, you know what I'm saying? This is when I was still learning. You know, they had their own musicians. They had their own musicians and um 
at the time I thought I was supposed to help with the service, but you know what I mean? They didn't want me to play. They wanted their musicians to play. You know, I'm still learning. I'm banging chords out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm talking like, like that, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, I wasn't playing like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? they didn't like how I was playing and that pastor you know what I mean she got up and when it was time for her to preach and she told me about myself in front of everybody you know what I'm saying that really did something to me you know what I mean I'm not even there's a whole story behind that what happened That did something to me, you know what I mean? That's, you know, that's, you know, it's church folk, you know what I mean? Y'all supposed to make us feel good while we in here. And she put me down in front of everybody. That really did something to me. It really hurt, you know what I'm saying? I didn't cry or anything, but it really stung. It stung. And after that, you know what I mean? I re- I, I'm not going to lie. I honestly looked at church and I for a while there I looked at religion in a different light and you know it, I came to a point that you know to realize that hey it, that was just that one pastor you know it's pro- it's not every pastor but she really made me feel bad but like after all that like that was one of the catalysts <laughs> of um that made me want to get better. Actually, it, I unknowingly was was getting better, but it made me get better. Like it, that that didn't just push me to get better, but I, I, it kind of did. But I didn't know that that was it, the thing that was pushing me. Like it, it was kind of like anger. You know what I'm saying? That pushed me to, like, I've never I've I've taken I've did piano lessons. But this particular person was just teaching me how to play songs. He wasn't teaching me theory or anything like that. And I got to a point to where I just, like all of this. You know, all of that, I learned on my own. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to see me playing in church. I know my little, you know what I'm saying? You know, stuff like that. (laughs) You know? <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, you're not gonna see me playing in church for multiple, a mul- uh, uh, for multiple reasons. <laughs> Mainly because of what happened, but also because, I mean, yeah, I, my heart isn't there anymore. <laughs> but as far as like making beats and stuff like that, I know what I know. You know what I'm saying and. I feel like I'm ahead of, of um, well, I am ahead of people who just like to click and drag and you know throw a, a filter on something and just call it a day because there's this YouTube ad going on. <laughs> if you don't know how to build chords, here you go. The chords are built for you. Like,
y'all don't want to learn. Like, y'all don't want to learn how to do that. Like, you know, <laughs> like what's so, you know, you know, th these days and times, like, you know, ser the services like you know, Splice and TrackLib and all that. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I use TrackLib. I love using TrackLib for samples and stuff like that. But, you you know, they literally have, the, have it in there where you can, like, put a beat to a sample and, like, sh you wouldn't you won't even know that somebody did that and they can just you know record it and like hey this is a beat i made and you won't know that they just took a little two bar loop and put like one of the pre-made beats on there and like boom there you go <laughs> you won't even know that they did that <laughs> so it's, it's making a lot of people lazy but all in all like the appreciation for music man um just music in general you know and um just a, a, you know the appreciation for music is a beautiful thing like so i hope that you know the beat making community and everybody that makes beats and everybody that makes music you know still keeps keeps it 100 you know we have ai that can make music for us don't ever get away from don't ever forget where it comes from. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like where music comes from. Music theory. You know what I'm saying? And I only know psh, maybe five, maybe 10% of music theory. <laughs> There's a whole different world about that. But I'm just fascinated by the fact that, you know what I'm saying? Simple stuff, how you could take that and go to the four of every key. You know, that's basically, I guess, the circle of fours. If you want to call it that. I believe that's what it's called. Or the circle of fifths right here. crazy how it works I, I just have an appreciation for what music is you know what I mean and um this is just a simple video I just wanted to stop and just talk about, about it because like yeah it's because you know we have AI nowadays and I don't want AI to come through and just wipe away you know 300 years or, or however long, you know, however long it was back when Beethoven and Mozart was alive, like you know, wipe away, you know, what they were doing and, and all the way up to what music has become before AI <laughs> and before splice and arcade and all this, you know what I mean? I, I, I just hope that, society you know still keeps it 100 you know what I'm saying so I appreciate you stopping by and vibing with the kid on some real stuff you know just simple Just vibing out, just talking. Showing appreciation for music, man. 
This has been your boy, Buck Chrism. And we out. Ha, <laughs>